this is before disabling this setting and this is after disabling this setting pretty cool right so you need to disable this one setting right now to boost fps and reduce stutters in all games it is related to the windows memory compression and this will work for both windows 10 and windows 11 as well as any low end mid or high end pc this will help you get more fps and make your games much more smoother by reducing the stutters so let's dive into it so the first thing that you want to do is open up your start menu and search for powershell Go ahead and right click on it and run it as administrator. So once the PowerShell opens up, go ahead and type in get dash mm agent just like I have typed in and hit enter. This is going to go ahead and provide you with a couple of lines of information. The one we are looking for is the memory compression and by default it should be set to true for you. However, for me it was set to false. Now this is the setting that we're going to be going ahead and changing but before that I need to tell you guys what it actually does. So memory compression compresses the inactive data size or the used RAM to free up additional RAM for the more processes or the apps such as your games. However, this compression can cause a lot of stutters and give you lower performance in most games. In theory, it is a good setting to have on for most PCs. However, it can cause performance loss especially when you aren't fully using the RAM. So disabling it could improve FPS and decrease the stutters in the game. Just keep in mind that for some people keeping it on may work better, for others keeping it off may work better. So for those of you guys who do a lot of multitasking or run a lot of of background apps while gaming you should keep it on however for those of you guys who want the best gaming performance and only use a couple of apps such as your discord or maybe spotify while gaming then go ahead and disable it these are my benchmarks if you guys can see now i know the difference of fps between the disable and enable is not much however if you look at the smoothness i was getting much more smoother gameplay while keeping it disabled as well as much more consistent 0.1 percent fps so how do you go ahead and disable or enable it so for the sake of the video i have turned it to true which should be default for all of you guys because first i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to disable it so in order to do that just go ahead and type in the disable then dash mm agent just like this then space dash mc and then go ahead and hit enter now the memory compression should have been turned off in order to check whether it has been turned off or not go ahead and type in get dash mm agent and hit enter and now as you guys can see that the memory compression is set to false now all you need to do is go ahead and restart your pc and then launch into your favorite game just make sure that you have a relative idea of how much fps you were getting before changing this setting and now you can go ahead and test it against this however if you're getting less fps than you were already or if you feel like that your gameplay is not as smooth as you want then go ahead and enable it once again and in order to do that all you need to do is go ahead and come back here type in enable then dash mm agent space dash mc and then hit enter and now it should have been enabled once again go ahead and type in get dash mm agent and now it has been set to true however as you guys have seen from my benchmarks and from a lot of other sources i have gathered setting it to disable will work the best for most of you guys so all you need to do is go into the game first get an idea of your average fps and then come here disable the setting and then go back into your game to test whether you are getting smoother gameplay or not the setting is also really easy to enable and disable as you guys have seen but now that you are done here check out this free tool to optimize your windows 10 or windows 11 for ultimate gaming and performance